It's the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you all the action. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Detroit Pistons. So Detroit will get the first possession. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Pierce is out there with Garnett. Then there's Allen. Then there's Perkins. And it's Rondo in at the point. Phillips passes to Milicic. Prince against Pierce. Prince misses. Rondo with it. Allen dishes to Rondo. Garnett with the screen for Rondo. There's the pass to Garnett. 11 feet away. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. Good make to get things underway. Yeah, and always a relief, I think, to get those first points out of the way and actually get that first sweat and that first bit of contact in the game because um, it just settles you down a little bit. Prince's shot is good. Could be the first of a lot of mid-range jumpers that we see from him. Outside Rondo. To the inside, Perkins. The shot misses. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Phillips kicks to Prince. Can't hit. Excellent D there from Allen. Here's the pass to Rondo. Here's the screen. Back to Pierce. Kicks it out to Allen. Outside Pierce. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Milicic. We've got 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. Wallace with the screen on Rondo. From deep, Phillips. Kendrick Perkins pulls it in. Phillips against Rondo. Right side, Pierce. And off the glass. That one's good. Rondo, a master at setting up teammates. Hamilton. No luck. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Boston on top, leading by just two. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Plenty of Gatorade to help them get their job done tonight. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Not much room to operate offensively. The defense has been stifling through the first. Greg, they haven't given up a lot of easy chances at all. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Boston. We've got Pierce, Leon Poe out there with Glenn Davis. Then it's Cassell, and it's Allen in at the two spot. Boston on D. They lead by four. Pass to Hamilton. There's the pick. Five on the clock. Excellent D there from Allen. Not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. I agree with you. I mean, not the shot they were hoping for, but he can really cause problems with his defense. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Here's Hunter. Pass to Hamilton. Pulls it up. Gets an open look and hits. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Cassell kicks to Pierce. Over to the wing. Cassell, the pass to Allen. They set the pick. Here's Davis, and it's sent back by Wallace. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Clock at four. 
Shot is good off the back rim and in. Scalabrini's got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. And here are the Pistons. And if they're smart, they can hold it for the last shot. To me, that's got to be the target. Make sure you manage the clock effectively so you do get the last shot. Now here's Billups. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Shoots from 14. And there's Tayshaun Prince on the assist by Billups. And how about the bounce pass there being used to perfection? Can't hit. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Celtics lead by four. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Celtics leading by four. We've got Wallace. Chauncey Billups out there with Richard Hamilton. Then there's Tayshaun Prince. And it's Milicic in at the power four. That's the five on the four for the Pistons. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. Rondo against Billups. Hamilton outside. Shoots from the line. Down to five on the shot clock. Prince misses. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Garnett with a screen on Billups. Allen for three, and it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got four assists in the game. Pistons trail by seven. Billups kicks to Milicic. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's on Kevin Garnett. The Pistons shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Eldon Campbell, he's checked in for the Pistons. The Celtics also changing it up. Glenn Davis is checked in for Perkins. Poe comes in for Kevin Garnett. And it's Cassell in for Rajon Rondo. And he sinks the second. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. They set the pick. Tries from 10. Davis. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Okay, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. And that one misses. And the Pistons making a change here. Hunter's checked in. No good at the stripe this time. Second miss is also. Pistons trail by six. Poked loose. Campbell gets to Milicic. They set the screen. And that one's good. Hunter. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Way up and over the big guy. And what a time in the ball game to make it happen. Now here's Pierce. Gazelle, the pass to Allen. Davis sets a screen. Celtics passing it around. Pierce, wide open. He fires. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. 
and here is Billups. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Passes it to Campbell. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Something I tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. And we've watched three so far in this one. Celtics out in front, up six. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Check it out. Yeah. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Here's Hunter, and a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Allen is out there with Rajon Rondo. Then there's Perkins, and it's Garnett, and it's Scalabrini at the three spot. Here's Hunter. Clock at six. Ball's not loose. Garnett, the screen. Rondo kicks to Allen. Garnett with a screen on Prince. Dishes it to Garnett. Free throw line jump shot. Good. Garnett's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Celtics. You know, as soon as he recognized the height mismatch, he immediately pulled up for the jump. And Greg, that's just good basketball. Come on, good basketball there. Clean look from that range. He's got to take it. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kevin, head coach of the Pistons had some words for his team over the break. He rallied the troops saying, nobody said it was going to be easy. They're not laying down. They're not going away. If we want this game, we have to take it from them. Kevin, plenty of fire in that speech. Now here is Hamilton. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Hunter, Pierce covering, six on the shot clock. Goes up the baseline, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, he'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, and something else they've done all through this one is knock down the mid-range jump shot whenever they've had the chance. Now here's Rondo. It's Pierce on the wing. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're trailing by seven. There's 53 seconds left to play in the final quarter. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hamilton up top, defended by Allen from 11 feet away. No good. Tell you what, guys, his size really comes into play when there's a rebound battle going on. He's got an advantage in there. Rondo kicks to Pierce. Garnett, the screen, feeds to Allen. Outside Rondo, back to Allen. Shot clock at six. And the foul on Tayshawn Prince. That is his first foul of the game. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Twenty-three seconds left to play here in the fourth. 
the feed to Scalabrini. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the Celtics lead by nine. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're trailing by nine. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, they can call all the timeouts they want, but really, I don't think it matters at this point. Yeah, I'm ready to go home just like the players are. There's nothing they can do to salvage this one right now. Let's go. Get out of here. Game done. Yeah. You summed it up. I was going to say, yeah, I don't think we need to comment after that. Adios. Here's Smith. From outside the arc, Poe grabs the miss. Cassell against Smith. Allen outside. So we see Boston get the win here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.